let there be light. That's what they were saying at Eldridge Park tonight as EC softball welcomed in Hilbert College for a doubleheader on the diamond. And we start with the finale, game two between the Soaring Eagles and the Hawks. Sarah Johnson is dealing. She strikes out Eliza Stringham there to end the top of the first. Bottom one now, one on for Elmira and some small ball. Yeah, we love this. Alex Andrade lays down the bunt. It moves the runner to second. She is safe and later on in the inning, two on for EC. And this is not small ball. This is just a mistake. Wild throw scores Michaela Bean and EC wins it four to one, the final. And that wasn't all from the Eagles today. They swept Hilbert, taking game one by a final of eight to nothing. Softball doubleheader for Mansfield. They split with IUP. And let's go back to the highlights now. High school softball, Olivia May and Notre Dame were visiting Edison in the Heights earlier today. Top one, one on for the Crusaders. And this is just your old fashioned strike them out, throw them out to end the threat. Spartans look in mid season form there. Bottom first, Edison threatening, but May blows away Daniel Callier. May is going to Cornell next year. She is good. But she was matched and then some by Taylor Engelbert. Taylor Kays, Brooke Harvey right there, and the Spartans win it 6-3. Spartans baseball hosting Notre Dame in the Heights. We pick it up in the bottom of the second, 3-0 Edison, 2 on. But check out Tyler Boyles with a web gem, a la Jimmy Rollins. Stops the threat there, but the Spartans kept pushing. Bases juice for Tyler Wilkins, and Hunter Thomas says, not so fast, my friend. Crusaders keep the Spartans at bay there, but Edison takes this one by a 4-0 final. They are 1-0. College baseball, CCC hosting Jamestown at Tuller Field. It's the season opener. Top third, 1-0 Red Barons. Jamestown with runners on first and second, and they are going to keep running. Double steal for the Jayhawks, and that sets up this. Cody Kondralik at the dish. There's a base knock. One run would score, and we are tied at one. Same inning, Jay's not done. Second and third again for the Jayhawks, and more problems for Corning. Josh Allen grounds to second, but Nick Sanzibal can't make the throw. Two runs would come on in to score, and Jamestown goes on to win this one, six to four. And Jamestown would pull the sweep, winning game seven or game two, nine to seven. At the D1 level, Cornell falls to Canisius. 14 to 5 the final there. To hockey now. Ian Keserich signed with the Elmira Jackals back in January after a lengthy stint in the CHL that consumed his hockey career for the better part of the last three seasons. And now he's one of two goalies on Elmira's Kelly Cup playoff roster and could be the starter tomorrow night in Florida for game one of the Jackals series against the Everblades. And for Keserich, he's loving being a Jackal. I was actually working full time. Uh, I was moments away from selling my equipment, so uh, certainly blessed, uh, blessed to be here. Um, as far as taking care of the opportunity, it's just work hard every day and work on the little things and push, push the players and have fun with it. All right, Jackals open up the playoffs tomorrow night in Florida.